Welcome everybody to a new episode of Let's Build Minecraft, episode number 68. A lot of you probably don't know where we are. F5, get back into that normal view. This is the new area that we're going to be building at. We've been prepping this on our live stream. Um, so those of you that either don't know or don't remember, we are working on a city. I mean a proper city. This build is going to be much larger than the farming village. It's going to be much larger than the orc stronghold. This is a long-term project. It's going to be an actual city. Now, I've, uh, I'm have i going to be going into a heavy planning phase, which is kind of what this, this episode's about. We're doing a heavy, heavy planning phase of this area and the layout of the city. So like yellow wool is where I plan roughly to have bridges. I've started laying out uh, these red wool are marking out where there's going to be some walls and stuff. And there's, I'll get into this later about the, the uh, actual layout of it. But the basic layout is there's going to be a castle on this section. Over here, there's going to be a market area. And by the way, there was a mountain here and I leveled it. And I filled up all of those chests full of stone. So it'll be good for stone for a little bit. Uh, and then the residential area is going to be over here. We have lots of room to work with. Again, another bridge. It's going to go through the mountain. Um, and then uh, the red is kind of walls. There's going to be a, a bay area with, with docks and whatnot. I don't want any of this build to be natural like i i mean there will not be any aspect of nature in this build pretty much let's just turn to day since we're not doing anything other than looking around right now uh this river it's gonna be converted more into canal it's gonna be widened and put walls on there pretty much every block within the walls that we're gonna build will have been touched there will not be a single block untouched here or or built on so look forward to that but you know if we have the uh, castle over here Expect the walls to, you know, come around like this and maybe like this where my crosshair is going. And then everything on the inside is going to be highly detailed buildings. I mean, highly detailed. And I've been working in Creative World quite a bit. So let's hop on over there and we can see the style that we're going to be building in and a little model of what we've done. All right, as you can see, I have quite a bit of stuff to show you. Now, this right here is what I want to show you first. This is a, and I got this idea from B-dubs. Uh, this is a miniature model of roughly what the city's going to look like. So, uh, this is, again, a rough draft of the castle itself. Um, anywhere where I have walls like this, and then this is supposed to be a gate and gatehouses and bridges. These are like stables, gate here, uh, walls, gates, uh, gate here, gate here. So I've been planning this out pretty carefully. Now, I have been, if you want to build a city like this and you want it to be the layout to be like A plus, go over to Shade of Shade Adversity. I'll link in the comments, but it's this guy that he pretty much does nothing but talk about castles and he i if you go to his channel you're gonna learn <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna get learned so um from what i've learned from him i have a few problems with this layout um number one is there is at least one point where there are not two walls that an enemy would have to go through when it comes to defense. So the whole thing is is surrounded by a wall. I want the castle to be surrounded by an inner wall. So there's this gate that acts as an inner wall. And, you know, this can somewhat serve as a moat, but it's actually a pretty natural river. Um, so I won't call it a moat, but it can serve as one. My problem is right here, this gate going down to the docks. It either needs to not be here... 
But even if it's not there, then that's only one wall. So we might have to do a double thick wall, um, double down on the towers. We need to make sure that the defense here is really good. Or, or I feel like it's not going to be super realistic. And the back side of this mountain that we're going to be building on is going to have to be fortified to some extent. It does swarm as some... For, uh, hello? Words? It does serve as some sort of natural protection, but... That's the rough layout that I'm working with. I think it's all right. Now, I've started working out the design for for the area. First thing that I want to point out, we have retextured two blocks. Um, well, kind of. Two sets of blocks. All the birch blocks have been retextured. And I'll pull up a picture here, uh, if I remember, <laughs> of the before and after. So the birch... It's it's a little darker. It just looks like too white to be used, in my opinion, in the in the vanilla. It's it's way too clean. So I just made it a little closer to oak, and I toned down the yellow and the hay. Together, I think they look really good. And we'll get into the look of it in a moment. That's not so important right now. So there are two main things that we need to figure out the style for number one so there's the stone things that would include walls castles gatehouses towers all that is going to be more or less in the same style similar style then there's houses or townhouses or market buildings all all the stuff that isn't the castle basically so far i have two styles of houses or town buildings and i want at least three main styles maybe four a fourth or a fifth minor style we'll get into that later if we have every style of house be the same it's gonna be really repetitious if we just mix it up a little bit it will It'll do wonders for us. We don't even need a ton of different styles. It helps to have the same style reoccurring. In in real life, you go into town and you notice this house is green. This house is yellow. This one's white, blue, whatever. That doesn't really work so well in Minecraft. It really doesn't. It Minecraft looks well when you have a, a color palette. It's, it's just like art in that way. So if we have this you know, reoccurring, and then this reoccurring, but interrupting the the monotony, I think it'll be really good. So this is the first one I want to talk about. Uh, see if you can notice what's cool about it. We have, well, let me see. Oh, there we go. The roof. So roofs, I think, are really important in general for for setting the tone for these houses, for their identity and whatever, especially if they're bright. If they're not just like regular wood roofs, you can change out, you can completely change the look of a house just by changing out the colors of the roof. Now, our orc stronghold used these colors. You might have noticed that, right? So, uh, not those colors, actually, these colors. And what the plan was with that was it was supposed to be it, that orc stronghold wasn't built by orcs it was built by humans and the orcs took it over and it's not being kept anymore and it was a faded red roof these are the humans that built the tower or the keep that the orcs have taken over this is what the roof originally looked like so this is a throwback to that build kind of ties them together a little bit this is the same roof but not faded. So um, those blocks are like this, and these ones were like that. You get the idea. So cool little thing. Um, I wanted to have at least three different stories. Um, I want to be on the floor down here, and I want to look up. I want to be surrounded by houses and feel immersed. I think tall buildings in a city are a good are a good way to get that and 
and I know there's grass all around, so it's kind of hard to get the feeling exactly, but if I look up, you can kind of get the feeling of walking around. And if we had another building right here, you'd be even more surrounded. I think it'll be a good feeling. So the idea with this one, and even that one, is the bottom floor is stone, the foundation, the first, whatever. It's all sitting on stone. And, uh, you know, I, I've tried to find different ways. This doesn't necessarily have to be the way that it's laid out. I just try to find different ways that we can mix up each little three by three section. So there's a door here, you know, a window. Um, we snuck in a door over there, uh, just a like extension to the building here using different wood. And then here is like more windows. And I think that these woods go really well together. I'm not a big fan of jungle normally, but I think it pairs so well with oak. It looks like like a natural wood stained wood or something um and then up here you know i got really in there with the little details as you can see but um you know we use a different color there it almost looks like someone would live up there maybe there's businesses down here whatever um over here very similar i changed up the roof lines uh you know little different styles it doesn't necessarily have to be like that just because i used um wood here and a window in the middle but over here it's the windows on the sides and the uh you know the wall in the middle it doesn't have to be like that it's just kind of breaking them apart for the sake of me looking at them right here but but this roof is super i i love it i want it to be sagging so number one this is going to take forever to do this is going to be live stream stuff these roofs number two i said that i would never build houses out of hay again it looks like i lied but this won't take nearly as much but we are going to be doing larger buildings so i think i'm going to actually build a hay farm so that i don't have to hand pick all these blocks all the time i was playing around with how we can fill in space I really want this to be cluttered, okay? If we're not out in the middle of a street, I want it to be tight and compact. So over here, I have uh, this alleyway, and I have some blocks laying around that I want to retexture. I kind of I'm thinking about retexturing the note block as a crate. Um, we'll get into that later. Uh, you know, I I just kind of shove stuff in here. I have this uh, stairway here going up to nothing, but. You know, when you're working in a really small area, you're not going to get a view like this. You, it's what it, the important thing is how it feels from down here. And it feels like a nice cluttered, dirty alleyway. Um, so I think we're going to get some good things out of that. I also want to retexture these to be like grates, like for water to go down, sewer grates. I, I think that's a really good idea. Um... Then I came over here and I did some testing on a gatehouse. Now imagine this will be mirrored here and the middle we'll have to work out, but this is more or less what I think that I want my style of walls and gatehouses and towers to look like. Now we could we could put a see a roof on it. Um, we could put a roof on some of them and not others we could i and i put some like i want these to be functional okay i want this to be like like you wouldn't have a gatehouse right here because so the these little slots i i'm sure you've noticed these on pictures of castles and stuff these little slots aren't just for decoration they're for like pouring like boiling water through so if there's someone like sieging this tower and you pour that on them then tough cookies for that guy but if i were to mirror this build right here and somebody were you know half of it's covering this building so i think that like realistically you wouldn't want any buildings within like 10 blocks of these towers and i i that's how deeply i want to think about this build like i don't know if i'm getting the point across i really want to the point that i don't know if i want this wood here because i don't know if you would use wood because it would burn but even if it burns, then it's, it's like that. So who cares? But what purpose is the wood serving? I'm not really sure. Like, I'm thinking about this in a very realistic way. So look forward to that if, you, if you've if you ever wanted to see, like, a realistically laid out city. 
this is the kind of thing that we're going to be doing. Um, over here, I, I wanted to figure out how the walls would look like between the towers. The entire city is going to be surrounded by walls. Um, we can talk about my thought process behind this. So, okay, this first, by the way, I searched and searched for reference pictures and whatever. I've been working on art recently. Okay, I feel like I'm, it makes, I'm sound like a crazy guy going from one topic to another, but I've been working on art recently, um, drawing and stuff. And something that I've been learning and translating to this is how you draw stuff in bare bones. You draw it in shapes and then you add the details, right? So I've been doing that with all this, but then I look, I've also been finding that it's okay to use reference pictures. So I've been looking up references. Okay, Google Minecraft stone tower or castle tower or whatever. 90% of the results you're going to get are boring. I'm sorry, but they are boring. Number one, you need to have some sort of and this isn't realistic, okay? Realistic towers, they can have a stone wall straight up, plain, nothing on it, and it looks great. That's because that's real life. Minecraft isn't like that. You need detail. You need to have, like, in and out, just like the side of this wall does. If you go straight up, it's probably not going to look good. You need it. You need these indents, okay? You need to have, like, something separating. If I were to have these little columns right here go all the way to the top it would look boring you need to mix it up somehow i'm just gonna say that so i'm really happy with the way that this looks um and then taking that over here i was like well we don't need these i want to carry over the theme of these little columns here but i don't want them to be every other one so i space them out with three in between and then the walls are just like that, except smaller, if you look at it. It has the same thing breaking up the middle of it right here as it does right here. And these things are called crenellations, okay? That's like the trademark of castles, right? So what they're for, if you don't know, is you hide behind these. I think those are, these are called crenels. I might have that completely wrong. I think these are merlons when it goes down. Um, so you hide behind this, you duck over here and you shoot, right? That's functional. That's real. It's not just for looks. It's real. So I'm incorporating it into the build. I'm also incorporating with these, uh, with these pillars here, you get an opportunity to, you know, you can shoot here and then duck in here, or you want to shoot over there. Well, you can reach over there from, from here, right? Uh, other things, these I think are a pretty cool detail. Like if you want to board up this for safety, you certainly can. If you want to lower them and shoot through them, you definitely can. And I think it's a cool detail having some of them up and some of them down. It mixes it up because the wall is very repetitious. Okay. It's not like these where I'm mixing up the styles of houses. I don't want to mix up the style of the wall. The wall is going to be the same throughout the entire thing probably. And this is probably what we're going to go with. The only thing that I really need to figure out is how we would work in towers and outposts and little things like that. But that's like thinking about so much. There's so many things to think about when you're planning a city. And that's what I'm trying to get to you guys. I've put like 20 hours in since the last episode. I don't even have anything to show for it over on the let's play we've we've flattened some land and we've done stuff in the creative world um next step for me is probably planning out the roads buildings walls with wool and that's something that people do in creative okay not in survival so i'm gonna farm the wool and we're gonna plan it out we're going to go all out on this. Okay, I do not want to get to the end and be like, you know, I don't like how this building was laid out. Or I don't like the amount of room that I was left with with between these buildings or something. I want to have it all planned out for the most part. So, you know, more live stream work. Um, but look forward to this. We're going to have to figure out at least one more design of houses. You know... I should I we just need to the biggest thing is figuring out a roof color um cuz even from down here like I can tell that that house is way different even though this middle section is 
just about the same. Like it's the details are different, but the co the colors of the walls are the same. This bottom row is the same. Um, this this is mixing it up, but this is practically the same. It's all the roof, man. And we can figure out some like styles of houses that are like one story tall and stuff, but um, figure out some nice colors that go together for a roof and use that to your advantage. Um, other things, I've been doing some studies of other people's builds. I have been learning, and by the way, thank you for just following along. This is a preachy episode. We're, we're just talking and learning. I've been learning to use these a ton. These things are so good everywhere. They go well for roofs. They go well for guard rails. They go well for, you know, details up. Where else have I put them? Here, covering spaces, um, flat surfaces that you think are a little boring. Put a put a trap door on it. It doesn't even have to be my retexture. It can be the default ones. This probably looks all fine in, in the default. Use them everywhere. These are such dynamic blocks. They, they're becoming my favorite ones. Um, other than that, guys, I, 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 if you guys are planning out a big area, I'd love to see what you're doing. I'd love to see how you guys plan stuff out. But if you're ready to learn how to plan out a city, follow along because it's about to get crazy. This is going to be the most work that I've ever put into Minecraft. I'm motivated right now, so... We're gonna have some fun. And anyways, guys, how do I press? Yeah, the F5 button. Yeah. Thank you for your for that. Hello, words. Okay, let's try that again. Thank you guys for joining me this episode. I'll see you next time, or maybe a live stream. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.